A Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupted on Wednesday, sending lava shooting nearly 100 meters into the air. The On June 13, 2025, at exactly 12.30 p.m. local time, seismic monitors detected violent tremors under Kalauea. Within minutes, fissures cracked open across the Halemaumau crater, launching lava jets into the air. Locals were caught off guard. There had been no major warning, no red alerts, just sudden chaos. Emergency sirens blared as a river of molten rock began spilling into surrounding zones. This marks Kalawia's 25th recorded eruption since monitoring began, but this one is unlike the others. Lava didn't just ooze, it exploded, forming 330-foot jets visible from miles away. Geologists say the speed of the eruption suggests immense pressure buildup over weeks. And the scariest part? They still don't know how deep the magma chamber goes. Videos quickly surfaced online showing massive lava fountains lighting up the horizon. Each burst sounded like a jet engine, and you could feel the ground shake with every roar. Experts confirmed these fountains reached 330 feet, taller than the Statue of Liberty. This wasn't just dangerous. It was catastrophic waiting to happen. The lava wasn't just hot. It was unusually fluid, indicating deeper magma rich in gas. That's why it shot up so violently pushing past 1,000 degrees Celsius temperatures with incredible force. The eruption formed lava domes, fast-moving flows, and dangerous airborne particles. This wasn't a simple spectacle. This was a deadly, unpredictable force in action. As lava surged, it interacted with rain and vegetation, releasing sulfur dioxide in massive amounts. This led to VOG, volcanic smog, that quickly choked the Big Island's eastern regions. People reported burning eyes, trouble breathing, and ash-coating homes like black snow. Schools shut down. Flights were diverted. Hospitals issued emergency breathing warnings. Hawaiian Civil Defense issued a red alert for air quality across Puna and Hilo. Tourists fled in panic while locals scrambled to protect their families and animals. Even indoors, the VOG crept in, forcing people to seal windows with plastic. And still, the volcano kept roaring, as if something bigger was coming. Beneath Kalauea lies one of Earth's most complex magma systems, feeding from deep mantle plumes. This eruption may have activated underground pressure zones linked to Mauna Loa and Loihi. Some geologists now warn of cross-volcano activation where one blast triggers another. That's a terrifying thought, especially since Mauna Loa last erupted in 2022. Data from tilt meters and GPS showed sudden inflation, the ground rising over 10 centimeters. That's enough pressure to crack rock and trigger chain reactions deep beneath the island. Could this mean more eruptions? Experts aren't ruling it out. In fact, some now think we're just in the opening act of a volcanic cycle. USGS sensors began detecting rapid collapses along the crater rim as magma drained out below. This caused parts of the summit floor to cave in, forming dangerous cracks and steam explosions. Seismicity increased. Over 1,200 small quakes were recorded in less than 24 hours. The land was literally sinking while lava shot into the sky a deadly geological combo. Locals near the East Rift Zone reported rumbling like freight trains under their feet. One resident said, it felt like the island was hollowing out beneath us. This hollowing, called deflation, can precede more violent outbursts. And the concern now is what might collapse next or erupt again without warning. As lava began spilling into the ocean, 
huge plumes of acidic steam, called lays, exploded skyward. These clouds contain hydrochloric acid and glass particles, deadly to breathe, even from a distance. But what's worse? When enough lava hits the water at high speed, it can trigger underwater landslides. And those landslides can unleash local tsunamis within minutes. In 2018, similar lava flows into the ocean triggered dangerous wave activity. Now in 2025, emergency officials are watching ocean entry zones closely. One crack on the coastal cliffs is widening daily, a sign of potential slippage. If it breaks loose, a localized tsunami could hit surrounding areas within seconds. Evacuation orders were issued for thousands. Many had just minutes to leave their homes. Families grabbed what they could, pets, documents, phones, and fled into smoky roads. Some shelters overflowed within hours, and mental health counselors were deployed to help. The psychological impact of living next to a violent volcano is deep and lasting. Many locals have lived through previous eruptions, but this one feels different, more violent, more sudden, and more widespread than anything in recent memory. Children cried seeing fountains of fire outside their windows, unsure if home would survive. And as night fell, the orange glow on the horizon refused to fade. NASA and NOAA satellites began tracking thermal anomalies and ground deformation over Kalawia. Infrared scans showed massive heat zones, far larger than expected for a typical eruption. GPS data confirmed the island's crust is warping, spreading like a slow, cracking shell. Some scientists fear this might be a long-term rupture event, not just a single blast. More disturbing is the magnetometer data showing deep underground shifts in Earth's magnetic field. This only happens when magma moves at large volumes through ancient underground channels. The last time this pattern emerged? Weeks before the 2018 destruction of Leilani Estates. If history repeats, parts of Hawaii may be forced to permanently evacuate. As of June 12th, Kalawia is still erupting. Fountains remain strong. Ground remains unstable. But scientists warn, if pressure builds in the wrong direction, it could rupture toward populated zones. This would turn lava rivers into lava walls, consuming neighborhoods in hours. Civil defense is now preparing for what they call a worst case 48 hour scenario. This eruption isn't just a Hawaiian event. It's a global reminder of nature's raw power. Kalawia may look beautiful from afar, but up close, it's a roaring monster beneath paradise. If this is only the 25th eruption, what might the 26th bring? The earth speaks in lava, smoke, and silence. And right now, it's screaming. Unlock untold truths only on the Story Vault.